Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration reading for the Sun, Moon and Rising Geminis. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, this is the last month of the year of your lucky year, you Geminis, because it was your early year. Um, I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Thank you for the supporting of my channel. Please like, share these videos. Um, thanks to all my subscribers, new subscribers. Thank you for being here. I hope you stay with us. This is the energy vibration for the month of December. It is a month of new beginnings and it is a month for all you air sign people. There is no supporting energies in this month for you, but it's going to be one of the luckiest month that is going to come for you hair sign people so you Gemini's I want to say to each and every person out there um, use the energy vibration in this month because it's going to be one of positive energies for you guys so um, um, this month has fair four weeks I want to say thank you to all the people who have um, donate and um, I hope you will continue to donate um, if you are not living in the Fort Lauderdale area and you're living wherever you are in this world, try and donate something for the poor um, or the unfortunate people, I should say. And I want to say to each and every person who have been with this channel for a very long time, thank you for supporting this channel um thank you for the message thank you for the likes and shares that you have done and for all the people that have contacted me for whatever reason it was i want to say thank you um i'm wishing you a wonderful new year um please enjoy your christmas and remember to um support those who are not um, capable enough of taking care of themselves and some people will say it is not my problem but we all live on this planet together and we need to understand that we need to love each other okay first of all we are going to look at um, the angel you can call in this is the energy of uh, Archangel Raphael he's going to be the angel you can call upon in the month of December this is an alien angel and this is an angel of abundancy what is abundancy is what you need um, to um, make a positive change in your life so this is going to be wonderful and this is going to be positive so I want to say to each and every person if you have a problem if you're sick and that sort of a thing you need to understand that there is the energy of Archangel Michael that is here that is going to help you I'm sorry I just got a stick a while ago okay let's look at this and let's try and understand what is going on here in this month so remember we have on ooh, we have only four weeks and we're going to take a look at what we have here for you guys I'm hoping that you're seeing it well and we are going to start looking at the first week to see what is coming out again we need to focus on um, the energies and for you Gemini's you have the youth of the youth of um, your mental so this is uh, um, what is going to guide you in this month of December this is good this is the inner child that you're going to be working with you Gemini so here you have um, the youth of uh, um, the energy and this is wonderful because it's going to help you to focus on certain aspects in your life okay let's look at your first week you have the angel energy of wisdom the energy of wisdom is a wonderful um, positive energy that is coming in the wisdom of the um, the energy of the wisdom is uh, the energy of you working with organization groups of people whatever is happening this is a wonderful energy because you have the eight of of the three the three you have the three of uh, um, um, fire and this energy of the three of fire is that some people are looking forward to leave an organization and to move further to something else it can be that you're transferring 
from um, a job you're changing jobs and there is going to be new possibilities that is coming up for you guys so this is this is actually very good so for people who are deciding to change their career in the first week it's going to be a wonderful week for career changes people who are deciding to move away from places things and situation it's going to be wonderful because new opportunities are going to be opening up for you um, opportunities that you weren't expecting is going to start coming in your life so this is a wonderful energy so with the energy of the three of fire it is always a time when you're dealing with transformation you're thinking about leaving something behind to further yourself to make other decisions make other choices and there's a lot of choices that are about to open up for you Gemini's in this first week and it's going to be very positive choices so um, we need um, to um, understand where we are at in this time so this is going to be a positive wonderful situation um if you hear any noise i'm about to put in my headsets okay so let's move on to the second week second week because you guys have a lot of um major arcanas to deal with um the second week you have the energy of the shadow and this because you Gemini's or the uh, or the twins, you have two different personalities to deal with. You have the shadow side of yourself. Everyone has the shadow side of themselves, but you Gemini's or um, the um, you Gemini's carry the energy vibration of the twins. So with every twin and with everything that is in twos there is a positive and a negative so you have to deal with the shadow side of who you are and sometimes it is not one of the most positive things to do but it is here it came up and you have to deal with a situation by dealing with this you're going to see a situation clearly and this situation has to do with your work for some people okay so by dealing with the shadow side of yourself there is a situation that has occurred at your work and you are going to see a situation very clearly and whatever happens um you know whatever you have done is as if you have to take a good look at who you are okay so the year has passed this is the last month in the second week this situation dealing with your shadow side is not one of the most easiest things for you gemini but it's something that you really have to do okay for some people it's going to be that someone is not speaking the truth and is lying to you or you are lying to your own selves so uh, it's going to affect a lot of people the second week dealing with your shadow side is one of the most uh, um, hardest thing for people to really see who they are it's going to affect some people in the business uh, um, situation um, or working situation but with some people it's going to be that you're lying to yourself and you're being cunning and you are going to be caught so be aware of what you do okay whatever you give out is what you will receive in the third week you have a phone um, a strong foundation and this is um, this is wonderful this is positive whatever that strong foundation is you have the ace of cups new love is coming in so this is wonderful the ace of cups is always positive energy positive good situation that is happening you have a strong foundation and this could be with a love relationship or something like that that is coming in you have twice a strong foundation so this is good so whatever is happening in your life the energy of the hanker is that you are solidly um, grounded you are moving to something that is much better let's say that you decided to change your job or whatever the situation is uh, or you know it, it has different aspect to deal with 
and it has to do with love with something new that is coming in so let's say that you have decided to change your career or decided to change your jobs or that sort of a thing um, good situations um, a good strong foundation and this situation with this um, love affair work whatever it is because the ace of cups is always um, love and um, whatever and whoever is coming in your life or whatever the situation is whatever that you're working on it is going to be very positive for some people you are if you have decided that you are moving away from something to something that is much better you are going to have support and this support is going to come in that you are going to be grounded and being you know standing strong in whatever you decide to do in the third week third week is the week of christmas so this is good some people are going to be meeting new people this new situation is going to bring um a pos positive um ending because uh, it is built on a good foundation okay so um, whatever that is not built on a good foundation always break but you have the energy of uh, this balance it's, it's, it's as if the anchor comes down and anchor you in whatever it is that you're trying to do in the fourth and last week we have solitude solitude is when you start to look in within so this is good with the solitude because you're actually ending this 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 situation in this month on a good positive note whatever that has been happening with you with an organization or a situation and this is going to affect a lot of women in the last week so whatever situation that has been occurring in your life um the last week is going to affect a lot of women out there. So be aware and get ready to, you know, work with an organization because the solitude could be that you are transferring, you're leaving a situation behind and you are making changes. And this is leaving a group of people, leaving an organization. You have decided that this is not working out for me. I'm leaving this and I'm moving on. And this is going to be very, very positive. Whatever that has been transpiring between you women and the organization or group of people, you're going to decide to leave it behind and this is going to be for the best because you're going to find the inner the inner power to do that okay you're going to have that inner strength to really move away from whatever is happening and this is good this is you know having this energy is a positive positive energy as we do a breakdown of the month, it's going to be a month where the major arcanas are coming in. And I can, I can understand why they are so prominent. Um, why are they coming in um, for you guys? It's because um, the year 2017 was actually your year. And now they're finishing off uh, this year 2017 for you guys in a positive way because they're opening up doors of opportunities uh, with work situation and this is going to bring balance in your life for a lot of women so a lot of women a lot of female or or people who carries a high energy vibration of the feminine side of you is going to be so positive and it's going to be so good because new opportunities with work situations or coming in and this is going to bring a balance in your life and bringing this balance in your life it's going to affect a lot of women in December so this is going to be positive so whatever you may realize that is happening that maybe um, you know because as you look at this energy this is the three of ones that is saying you know I I need to start something I need to move away I need to find a new beginning and that sort of a thing 
And you're going to find that because this new love is coming in and it's it's showing you that you have a strong foundation with this new love that is coming in. And there is going to bring a balance in your life in your third week. So the third week is one of the most positive um, week for you because what is happening it's going to trend a transformation is going to happen in the third week. So again, for most of you women, as you can see here, the possibilities of opportunities. So if you're looking for a new job, it's going to be, you're going to be receiving this. If you're looking for new love, it's going to be happening for you guys, whatever you women, um, and this is a general reading for men and women, but the focus here in the work from it's more of opportunities coming in for um, women. And with these new opportunities that are coming in, you are going to see that there is going to bring balance to your world. And this is going to be wonderful. Someone very powerful is or, you know, someone very powerful is going to help you to bring in this new um, possibilities for you guys. So it is really um, the month is ending up on a good note. Let's look at love and see what the love energies are coming in for the Geminis in the month of December. Let's look in the first week for you men. Um, for you men, whatever is happening in the first week for you men, the opportunities when it comes into love is not going to happen for you men in the first week. There is actually a blockage for you men in, in the love arena in the first week. And um, what is happening is that whatever opportunities that were there is no longer open up for you men. So, um, you know, for the women, it's going to be okay. But for you men... Um, in love, it's not going to be that possible because you're in a reverse form. If you are in the upright form, you will have a lot of opportunities, a lot of, you know, wave is coming in for you. But for the women, it's going to be positive. As we look in the second week for love, it is the wheel of fortune. This is going to be good for you. Um, a Gemini's in the second week for love. It's going to be wonderful because you're looking at your shadow side and at the same time, you're looking at your shadow side. Things are happening for you. Some of you could be, you know, meeting up on someone who um, is very cunning. Be careful because you yourself is cunning. The two cunnings, you, you know, <laughs> you're going to break each other. So be aware. But this is a relationship that is coming from a past life. So a lot of you people are dealing with a relationship that is coming from a past life or is about to meet someone who is from a past life. But this person is very cunning. So be careful because you Gemini's can be cunning also. Let's look at the third week and see whatever is happening. There's a new beginning that is coming in for love for a lot of you because you have here, um, you have a strong foundation. Whatever is happening, your third week is going to be very, very um, uh, strong with the energy vibration of love because whatever is happening, you have the Ace of Cups and you have a strong foundation and this new love that is coming in. And you have the strong foundation up here. So whatever is happening in the third week in love or whatever you have decided to do, or if you decided to take a new part in your life, it's going to be wonderful. But in the sense of love, it's going to be a very, 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 very um, um, wonderful idea to, you know, some people have met this person before and the connection between you and this person is so strong that it's going to bring you both to a place of something new and so electrify and this is going to be good as we look at the fourth and last week um this is going to be wonderful because you have the nine of pentacles especially for you women um the fourth week seems to be attracting certain aspect to women so if you are looking for someone who uh, um someone in a relationship um someone who has money or it can also be um someone who is a taurus virgo or a capricorn so you women are, you know, money is, is going to come in in the fourth week. So it's as if, if you 
have decided that you're leaving something behind money is going to be coming in for you in the first week but this money and this love that is coming in it's going to be someone who um that is um you know wealthy a wealthy guy that is going to come in and this guy is going to you know bring certain situation and possibilities in your life because um it, it you know it's someone in power or someone who has a business because here this um, energy of uh, this bear is always the energy of someone who is uh, um, you know in power and this can be someone who has their own business but it's not a really um, a, a, um, let's say a relationship that might last a long time it may be something that is coming in from a karmatic situation but this person this man has money and he is going to like kind of help you um in a lot of way materialistic but you are only thinking on money okay and this person that you could be meeting is someone who is a, a taurus burger or a capricorn and um he's going to he or she because the focus is on the women in this week but this person who you're going to meet is going to um, help you financial and this is going to be good so you know here we go and as I always say um, I always change up the energy and the reading of the cards and for the love energy you have the three of cups and the three of cups is a very wonderful energy this is saying that there is going to be a celebration in the love atmosphere for a lot of people and this is going to be good because a lot of you are going to be meeting the love of your lives so here you go for the love energy something fell out there is an energy that has to do if you are in a relationship with someone who is uh, a Pisces a cancer or a scorpion and they could be they could be the one with the money that is coming in or they could be a new beginning because it fell out on this this third week so you could be having a new beginning with this person who is a scorpion a cancer or a um, scorpion or cancer or a Pisces okay um, it fell out in the third week so um, expect to meet someone who is a water sign person so you know whatever is happening this person with a water sign that is coming in for you guys in the third week this is going to be wonderful and it's going to be a happy happy celebration so congratulations you guys I love 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 doing these love readings because um, we kind of uh, we you know the energy show you who to expect in your life if this person is not um, if this person is not a um, a scorpio or um, a Pisces or a um, cancer it could be that this person has uh, the um, zodiac energy in their um, chart in their birth chart okay because sometimes they will show up with a zodiac energy of what they have in their birth chart so this is going to be wonderful and this is going to be good so let's look and see what is happening for the Sun moon and rising sign for you um, Gemini so we're gonna start out with a Sun the Sun Gemini's and remember that the Sun people are the people who are born um, between the hours of 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. and here we go and here we are looking at it and I am going to put on my glasses you can't see me but let's look for you Sun people if you were born between the time of um, 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. you have to work with Neptune and the Aries. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Neptune and the Aries. Ladies and gentlemen, there is something that is coming in for you guys because I'm working with Neptune. I mean, Neptune is the planet, the water planet. And when you are working as a, as a, as a sun sign, working with Neptune, you have to be alert at certain things that is going to happen in your life. So be aware and understand that 
you um you need to realize where you are and what is going to happen uh, to you guys because working with neptune is not one of the easiest planets to work with neptune especially when neptune is in your birth chart and um you're dealing with these things because neptune is really a planet that is going to awaken your psychic neptune is the goddess of the sea Neptune is the, the um, seller's body of inspiration and dreams, uh, um, wisdom and understanding. And it takes you to extremes. Neptune is the dreamless, can become an elusive um, confusion and uh, excessive. And for Neptune, when it appears in your, um, in your um, you know, rear reading, you know, expect to, uh, you know, to keep one foot on dry land because you're all in the illusion and it depends on in which house neptune is going to come and work so you know these are a situation that you need to understand and the houses so let's see what you sun people neptune bring forth your secret dreams into the frank light of day the poetry in your soul seeks expression so this is going to be really something for you gemini's because you are not one of those people who are you know working with the psychic so this is going to stir up a lot of stuff because it's going to bring forth your secret dreams into the frank light of day so be awakened and ready for this because this is going to happen to you whether or not you are ready for it it's 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 going to just you know come at you in december so be aware of this okay um sometimes uh, and you know the, the the strangest thing is that sometimes we just have to deal with these things and we can't change um the way it is moving in our lives so um open up yourself to this so you're going to be dealing with the aries and the aries people these are fire people your air sign so be aware for some people you're going to have to deal with them it's a karmatic situation and um they have to be you're dealing with them at your work so uh, be aware as we look at the moon people we have to deal with the virgos which is not so bad and some of you and you know and the and the aquarians which is good the virgos and the aquarians which is good because they both um carry the energy vibration of that um, you know balancing out certain aspect and that is um, extremely good and very positive for you so this is going to be good so whatever that is happening in your life at this time for the people who were born between 6 p.m and 6 a.m there is going to be balancing coming in for a lot of you women um new beginnings balancing money um, the Virgos are going to come in to help you, which is an earth sign to balance this new beginning. And the Aquarius are going to be connecting with you. So for the women, you could also be um, connecting with the Aquarians man. And this is good because it's going to be a good celebration. It's going to be a good connection. So this is going to be positive. So ladies and gentlemen, um, you know, this is a beautiful reading for you guys and whatever is happening in your life um, you need to understand that you are going to be okay in the month of December it's going to be a wonderful positive positive month I want to say learn to work with your shadow side and I'm saying um, Merry Christmas Happy New Year and I'm sending you all the love in the world and I'll speak to you in the year 2000 Namaste.